this is the Caldwell ballistic chronometer and we're going to be using it today to test out three different calibers of rifle cartridges we're going to have a 223 we're going to have a 300 blackout and we're going to have a 65 creedmoor got the target set up down at the end of the range and the chronometer is about 10 foot Hey guys, it's Chris from Double Eagle Gunworks and we're out here today on the range and we're going to be uh, testing the speed of three different uh, cartridges. We got the 223, we got the 300 Blackout, and we got the 6.5 Creedmoor. And we got the chronometer uh, set up that we'll be using to uh, get the speeds on that. And with the chronometer, uh, we've got an app on the phone that well, you can input the data for the uh, cartridge and then it will give you the average as well as the temperature and uh, some of the other things that it's measuring when we're testing the velocity of the rounds. We got the 6.5 Creedmoor up first and it is the Remington Core Locked. It's 140 grain bullet and the box says this one the muzzle velocity should be 2700 feet per second okay that one came out 25.82 feet per second and the box says they should be 27. Let's try the next one. Okay, that one was 25.95. That was 25.91. Let's load the last two rounds in. And so we'll do a five round group on this one. That one was 2601. That one was 2576. Looks like the average was 2589. Standard deviation of 10 feet per second. Okay, okay on this one, uh, we're going to be testing the um, 223 cartridge and just a standard uh, full metal jacket and uh, we'll be shooting it through the Ruger AR556. Okay we got the 223 in this one. We'll do a five round group with this one to see how it does. Okay, the average on those uh, look like 34.82. Okay, this one's going to be the 300 blackout, and we've got one factory load here that uh, just standard full metal jacket, and then I've got two left of the some hand loads that I did, and uh, so we'll see if there's difference between the hand loads and then the factory loads. Okay, on this one, we're gonna be looking at the factory 300 blackout.
Okay, the average for those five was 1846.8. Now, I got two rounds left of the hand loads. So let's see how those do. Okay, on that one, the average was 1757 and a half. With the 223, of course, being the fastest, it came in at uh, 3482 average. The next was the 6.5 Creedmoor. It was 2589. And then the factory 300 blackout was 1846, with my hand loads coming in the slowest at 1757. Okay, here's the a picture of the average of the different rounds that we just shot. And the last one, the two hand loads there, you can see the numbers on it. They were the slowest. Then the factory loaded 300 blackout in the 223 was the fastest and the 6.5 Creedmoor was the next to the, the fastest round. These are the, the 223 that I shot, so I wasn't quite as accurate uh, with the 223, but it's also got the least magnification on the scope as well. It's just a one power magnification, so there's uh, and I'm a little over 25 yards away uh, from the target, so it was a little bit harder, but it still not bad uh, but then this is the 300 blackout along with the 6.5 Creedmoor so they're all stacked on top of each other and uh, the 300 blackouts there that's probably about an inch group right there and then the the 6.5 Creedmoors are in there as well so uh, that may be two inches maximum on the 6.5 Creedmoor. Okay, on the Caldwell Ballistic app, uh, you've got several different screens to choose from here. This is the home screen that shows you the velocity of the last rounds that you've shot there. So it, uh, and then you just scroll up through there to see the ones that we've shot earlier in the day. And then when you get ready to shoot, you go to the new group column and it will let you set up for put in the name of the load up there and then there's more data that you can put in you can put in more notes here about uh, the brand and grain weight stuff like that uh, that's also uh, listed down here got the distance and any of the of the other things that you know about the bullet you can input there then you've got the start button and when you get ready to shoot and then to shoot however many rounds you're going to do, and it will give you the average of that group. And then you've got the save groups. These are the ones that we just shot today. And then the, the last column is just your settings so that you can set up how you want to do it with the units and the GPS and stuff like that. So it's a great app. Uh, it worked really well, and uh, I like it. Thanks.